Well, I just want to talk about an issue we had. Uh, we just got this new smart car, an electric car, an electric vehicle, Smart 4.2. It's a 2013 year, but it only has something like 32,000 miles on it, So, and it's in great shape. So we were glad to get this for a bargain from a family member. Uh, it's uh, about a 16.5 kilowatt hour battery. It can produce about 27 horsepower and can make up to uh, 40 horsepower for a couple of minutes. Uh, it's a range of uh, theoretically 80 miles, we think practically 40, which should be good around for around town, bopping around, getting groceries, small trips. Um, the uh, one issue I wanted to talk about though, when we got this here, uh, the airbag light, airbag light was on. So I scrambled around. There's really no service for these where we are at. So I picked up a little gadget and I thought I'd play with that. And I'll tell you what happened with the airbag light. Let me get in here. Turn this on. There's an airbag light over here. Comes on. It goes off. Previously it would come right back on. And I found a connector Where is the off with the radio connector under the passenger seat, um, which turned out not to be with the airbag, but I'll show that uh, shortly. What, what I did is picked up this little gadget here. It's a iCar Soft. It's an I let me turn on the light here. Yeah, I-8980. Uh, this is looks different from what was pictured in Amazon. It's about 120 bucks. Uh, what we actually got, which was different, was uh, the a newer model, or a, a better model, I shouldn't say newer. This is the uh, MB version 1.0. Uh, got the firmware software upgraded slightly. But we're, uh, it plugs right into the OBD port. Uh, I don't think OBD does anything on this electric car, but we can connect to diagnostics. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And this is what I wanted to show around. We There's all kinds of stuff in here, really neat stuff. I bought this to reset the airbag light, uh, but it turned out that it didn't need it. It was just connect a loose cable under the seat. So we go into smart car, even though it's electric, we do the uh, latest version even though it's electric and this is the chassis 451 it's the 2013 I think second generation or so uh, the only options we have are diesel gas so I'll pick diesel since it doesn't diesel even diesel doesn't have an ignition controller and we'll go ahead and do the scan um, so it checks for all the different modules and you can hear it actually resetting or making a noise when it hits one of these modules. So here, the first thing is the restraint system. And you get the module information. And all kinds of details. Read fault code. There are no faults. There were no faults. We, I tried clearing it, but I still had that airbag light on. You can view data. Things like the driver airbag, it goes out and talks to that and reports resistance of the uh, ignition circuit. Airbag ignition squib is okay. And now the squib or ignition is the explosive device that sets off the airbag. And we definitely want that to be okay. Uh, seat belt buckle uh, says okay. I'm not sure what that not connected is. It's like that, whether it's connected or not. Airbags, airbags, emergency tensioning retractor, um, ETR ignition. Okay, well, anyway, um, even after clearing, we still had the airbag. Turned out the issue was with, I'm thinking, I, I just noticed a cable underneath the passenger seat was not connected. Which I believe was the weight sensing system that tells if a passenger is in the seat or not, or tries to tell if it's a lightweight passenger or, you know, a, a regular adult, you know, as if like a baby carriage or 
Uh, let's go in and view data. Once I plug that in, I uh, noticed the box had nothing plugged in. And once I plugged that in, the airbag light went out, and boy, we were so happy. Uh, voltage at belt tensioner sensor. Not sure what that is. Actually, if I yank on the... Eh, maybe that's doing something. Anyway, down here under... See, voltage at B48 seat occupied. We got four. If I push that, look at that, the number goes down. If I push on it really hard, uh, the passenger, the airbag not activated light goes out. If I let go, this light comes back on. That's uh, that's from this sensor here. Uh, but that's anyway, this is fine. I'm going to keep this gadget even though it didn't really help us. There's lots of neat stuff in here. Uh, SCU. I think it has, if I hit the right buttons, um, value group, the driver's doors, like we select that and check that out, it says the door is closed, open the door, it says open, close the door, uh, there's a front light, horn, ignition, mobilizer, interior light, um, left turn signal if we look at that it says it's off I turn it on it's on that's the left turn signal there's all kinds of stuff in here uh, remote key lighting push button switches let's see fog lights let's go back out of here view data miscellaneous yeah, uh, there's one I was looking for, the steering system, the ESP. That turns on an ABS and brake light on the console view data. Sensors. Oh, look at this, brake pressure. If I bring that one up, there's 0.28, I step on the brake pedal, and that goes way up. Longitude steering angle, that's a good one. If I turn the steering wheel, right now it's minus three, turn it to the left, it goes positive. I turn the steering wheel to the right. Boy, I would like to make a gadget that could read all these. Um, I think it can record. Um, if you plug it in, it will record some. But anyway, that's, uh, that's this gadget. It's the iCarSoft to exit and uh, anyway um, like I say there's no service around here and for 2013 I don't think they even sell smart cars in the US anymore this might have been a uh, pay-to-go car that was sold off when they pulled out of the New York market or something but heck 32,000 miles I hope to get a lot out of it it's very clean and I'm going to be learning a lot about it because I'm the only one that can maintain it